So a divider is a concept that we're going to encounter multiple times throughout the semester. It involves the voltage distribution across multiple components that carry the same current, generally speaking. So let me just give an example. Suppose I have a uh, divider made of two resistors. So I'm going to connect these guys across. Uh, so the, the bottom pin of this top resistor and the top pin of the bottom resistor are connected. The bottom resistor, the bottom pin of the bottom resistor is going to be connected to ground. And <clears throat> then let me grab a, uh, let's see, grab a power supply here. And let's connect it to plus and minus rails on this board. And then I'm just going to connect the, uh, the bottom ground rail to the top ground rail. So, so this now forms a divider. Uh, if I turn on the simulation, you can see that we've got uh, two and a half milliamps and five volts. That makes sense because we've got two uh, K, one K in series with one K. So that's 2000 ohms of resistance. So five volts divided by 2000 ohms, that's two and a half milliamps. So that, that makes sense. Where a divider is interesting <clears throat> is when you look at the voltage at the middle node here. So let's grab a, uh, a meter, multimeter, and I'll put uh, the negative terminal of the multimeter here. And let's connect the positive terminal to that middle node. And then if I run the simulation, you can see uh -huh. Okay, that was unfortunate. There we go. Okay, so now we're measuring the voltage difference between the ground node, which is this guy here, and the uh, middle node between these two resistors. And you can see that 2.5 volts is dropping across the bottom resistor, which of course means there's the remaining 2.5 volts across the top. Let's, uh, let's stop the simulation, and just for completeness, I'll grab another multimeter. And with that one, let's measure the voltage drop across the top resistor. So we'll do that this way. Let's get this over here. There we go. And you can see that uh, these two voltages, of course, have to add to 5 volts. And <clears throat> each of the two resistors being equal gets an equal portion of the voltage drop. So that's what a divider basically means. It means the ratio of the two resistances here is equal to the ratio of the corresponding voltage drop. If I were to bump up the resistance, so let's say I make this one uh, 3K instead of 1K, now it's got three times the resistance of the bottom resistor, but notice it also has three times the voltage. Again, the ratio of the voltage drops is equal to the ratio of the resistances. If I make this one 2K, now we've got one and a half times the voltage and one and a half times the resistance, or 2K and 3K give me two volts and three volts. So that's basically a divider. That's really all there is to it. If I um, if I bump this one up to 20K, now suddenly it's got almost all the resistance and it also gets almost all the voltage. I bump this one to 30K and now we're back where we were, three and two, because the ratio of the resistances is still the same, but we have a lot less current now because now we have 50K instead of 5K. So I hope that gives you the idea. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask.